I'm expecting tears from Stephanie and McPherson. Well, once it's tears of joy, I'm sure both Stephanie and everyone will be all happy about it. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Ray, Adrian and I are here to talk about the women's 400 meters and Jamaica chances of winning gold, silver and bronze at the upcoming World Athletics Championship. Guys, Jamaica have a rich history over 400 meters for women. And in the last World Championship, we had medals, right? Our medalist, Sherika Jackson won bronze in 2019. And before that, in 20 something, in 2015, she also won bronze, right? Come 2022, we have three ladies who are running fast one who have the heart of a champion a, a, a very strong will person in stephanie and mcpherson very experienced and every time she run on the international circuit i hear the commentators calling her the veteran we have candice mcleod who seems like unstoppable and a very strong-minded person and then we have the youngster Cherokee Young, who is the second ranked female runner over 400 meters with her personal best of 49.87. Going into world championship, we have another runner, Stacey and William, who is ranked seventh, but she never met the team on, as an individual runner. Candice McLeod is ranked ninth, and McPherson is ranked 14 with her season's best of 50.49. She finished second at trials. Raymond, going into world championship, um, we can talk about Stephanie and McPherson's history over world championship. She has won bronze medal and she won that all the way back in 2013. After that, fifth, sixth, those are the, the positions she qualified 2015, 2017, 2019. She's in the final, but she always seems to miss that podium. And come 2022, I expect tears, but tears of joy from Stephanie and first. She has been at it for so long and is full time now. She carries home a medal. Well, Kirk, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure the disappointment of the Olympics should be behind her. Um, I'm just imagining her looking forward to this year to make amends and know of the World Championship. So being the veteran, she is, she's expected to actually go to the final and come through with a medal. So I absolutely, and I'm, I'm seeing it now, she being on, the, on, on a track and knees, bending knees, crying and thanking God for delivering a medal to Jamaica and to herself. So yeah, honestly expecting her to push through with her experience and all and actually come through with a medal. I also expected to hear in that vision that you had McPherson walking over with the, the, the flag to and to her as both of them run at, around the track celebrating gold and silver. But Adrian, the expectations are high when it comes to women 400 meters because we have gotten medals on more than one occasion. Do we still hold that high expectations? Going into this world championship, Young is the fastest Jamaican over 400 meters. Many will say that she probably will be burnt out because the US collegiate track season just finished and they did a lot of running. Um, do you believe in that 
theory or will she be able to deliver on the world stage? Well, Kurt, first up, um, Stephanie and Matt first, and it's truly the veteran. And sometimes when you have a veteran, um, people tend to um, forget that she was a bronze medalist in 2013 at the Moscow um, World Championships. Um, so she has hit that gold medal, but at the same time, um, that's been quite a while um, back. Um, she has served us well on the 4 by 400 meters um, relay team and um, would have won gold medal um, at the world champ a gold medal at world championship in 2015. Um, but both herself and Candice McLeod have saved their best performance for the season and until the national um, trials, um, beating out their more um, fancied opponents. Um, Cherokee Young and Stephen Williams were burned up the college circuit and probably ran out of steam at the end. Um, both um, McLeod and McPherson hitting top gear, running their season's best, um, 50.49, 50.29, to be able to um, claim the, the, the top the top two spots. A um, question surrounding whether it is that we can medal. Third, we can medal. Um, Sharky Young, having um, finished third, a disappointing third, I would think, but really happy to make the, that she actually made um, the team individually. Um, is expected to bring a lot of um, energy and fireworks. She'd have gotten probably about two weeks worth of rest, and the idea is that she should come back fresh, fresh for the World Championships. Um, but you can't count out um, a Stephanie and McPherson, who seems to always leave her big performances for the big event. Unfortunately, last year um, got injured, which we won't speak about. That's the Olympics that dead and gone. And of course, Candice McLeod, coming in for what I believe should be our first um, world world championships as well. So I think um, all three ladies have, have a good um, chance of, of challenging for a gold medal um, if they run, run about their, their, their season's best or just dipping right below um, 50 seconds they're in, in place to actually get at least a bronze or even a silver. They could surprise. So let's see how that works out. <laughs> Raymond, we saw Stephanie and McPherson going pretty close to the national record last year at the Olympics, 49.34, the record being 49.30. Cherokee Young, 49.87 um, during the collegiate season. And we know McLeod is always up to something. Do you see any of them going close or even breaking this national record. Well, well, this national really record has been around for too long. No. Right. It is really it's really tricky. Um I'm not certain if they will get it in this world championship. Um I'm I, I'm almost wondering if they could probably get it in a probably a Diamond League event or probably another, you know, another game, but not yeah. I'm not I'm not expecting it in the world championship. Um, feel is a fast track. Yeah, I understand that the rounds and, and, and that. The, the rounds the rounds can play a part. The rounds can play a part in in in, in affecting their how how well they do in terms of going close to that um, national record. And so I'm saying I'm I'm not expecting them to get it. If they get it, kudos to them. And that would be that that would be wonderful. Hey John, do you see any of them challenging or breaking this? national record um i mean i i think the the record could be um under threat this year specifically because one um i think the, the three ladies are in very good form they're not too far off from the record that record set um from about 2002 by lorraine fenton um you know brilliant um runner but when you think about it um combine their running pace along with awards feeling um eugene organ it's a perfect opportunity for them to actually get that um, record. And so I expect them to challenge that record and probably um, do them. One, if they get the record, it's expected that they'll be amongst the, um, the, the medals. If they do it in the final, that is. Certainly. Fans out there, we would love to hear from you. What's your thoughts on the makeup of the 400 meters women team for this world championship? Cherokee Young. Candice McLeod and Stephanie and McPherson will represent Jamaica and we know they will represent Jamaica with heart, spirit and strength and we are expecting nothing but medals, right? 
So leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you also expect medals from these three ladies? And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe, and to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Ray, Adrian, and I signing out. Be blessed.